Hi, my name is Josh. This is The City Set, and today I thought we'd talk a little bit about dad stuff. More specifically, why I choose to take the first day of school off and why I think it's really important. Hey. Want to come share a tomato with me? Yeah. Cheers. Ah. Yum. Was it good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you're new around here and this topic interests you, I am a dad. I have a huge garden that I run, kind of like a small homestead in the city. I have three kids and an awesome, amazing wife. One of the things I'm trying to do here is actually start some sort of a farm business. I started growing garlic. And there it is. I've been looking for this for, you know, about 25 minutes now because, well, that's kind of like what a dad life is like. Because I'm out here, I got the little guy. He's stuck on his little four-wheeler. I set this down somewhere to do something, and in typical fashion, you gotta find where the heck to put it. All right, so we're gonna go harvest some garlic. We're gonna talk a little bit about why I think it's important to take that first day of school off. Not only for you, but for your wife, for any other siblings that your kids might have. All right, are you super excited about fifth grade? Uh, kind of. Kind of? Maybe a little nervous? Yes. You're gonna do great though. It's, it's gonna be good. It's be good last year in the school. You believe it? No. Me either. Me either. Middle school is on its way. After this year. <laughs> Alright bud. Are you super excited about your first day of school ever? Yes! Are you gonna be super good? Yes! You gonna learn super yes. a whole bunch? Yes! Alright. I like to hear. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of my many beds of garlic I have here. I planted over uh, 1,200 cloves of garlic this year in my yard. I got about uh, almost, actually it's about 0.7 of an acre. It's a pretty big lot in a, in a city. It's not a major city or kind of a smaller city, but you get the idea. All right, so the number one reason that I want to take the day off when my kids go back to school is kind of a selfish reason it's for me it's because I want to be there to take them out, get them on the bus, or drop them off, or whatever your routine is going to be, your or your significant other, whoever does it. In my case, my wife does stay home. I work full time, so she handles the morning routine, but I want to be there that first day. I want to see the excitement in their faces. I want to send them off, uh, all smiles and everything, and then I want to be there firsthand for when they come home. I want to be there when they walk through that door, and the excitement of the day is still there. Because they can tell you everything when you get home from work at like five or six, but it's not going to be as fresh and exciting as when they uh, first come in that door. So for me, it's kind of like a selfish thing. I want to be there. I want to hear the firsthand account of my kid's first day of school, especially my middle child this year. This is his first time ever going to any kind of organized school. So I know he's going to come home and he's just going to have tons and tons of excitement about what happened all day. Some of that nice garlic we're pulling right out there, right there. Nothing like some good old garden garlic. At this point, you might be wondering, why are my kids going back to school so early? Uh, we actually put our kids in a year-round school program. Uh, there's lots of benefits to it. Uh, everything we've read kind of leans toward, you know, being able to retain information better and just overall better test scores and grades. This is kind of reason that we go toward it. And everybody's like, oh, year-round, that's got to stink. Well. They get a lot of breaks. Uh, they get as they go basically as much school as the regular school does, except they break up their breaks. So it's not like three solid months in the summer. So it's like you know they go for like six weeks and then they get a week off and then they go for six weeks to get a week off, and then they still have like a month and a half of summer, uh, almost two full months. So it's it's actually a pretty good deal, and it breaks up our time that we would have for vacations and all that into better time frames. So we're not you know. When everybody else is going on spring break, we could have went on vacation at a different time uh, to those warm locations. So my second reason, back to that, is kind of a not selfish reason. It's more for my wife. It's such a hot day and I've been out here working all day. So for my wife, the reason I take the day off for my wife, she's going to have some anxiety. It's all moms would have. Even dads have that anxiety of your kids going to their first day of school ever, like my little guy. Uh, the middle child, he's never been before. Mr. Rand, this is his first time ever going to the school. So there's some anxiety. So I'm here to help relax that. 
I'm here to make sure the morning goes as best as it can. I'm here when he gets home to make sure that everything goes good there. And I'm here to be with my wife and give her that time and support that she deserves and needs. Reason number three, I got a little guy who's not in school and his whole entire life he's had siblings at home with him to spend the entire day. So my third reason that I stay home on the first day of school, and I think it's a good reason, is that I'm here for him. Uh, he needs to help with that transition. Uh, so I'm here, I'm here to give him a day where he can have just me and mom. He can do whatever he wants, he can play, and then he's gonna start transitioning into just being the only child at home. And so with that, on the uh, you know first day of school for the little guy, and the big sister's going back, she's in fifth grade now, big year. Uh, I stay home because I want to spend my entire day with my wife and my youngest child. I want to give them a special day kind of for themselves uh, because school starting back up is a special day for the older kids. So I want the younger guy to have his own special day and I want my wife to have my attention for an entire day to try to give her, you know, appreciation for what she does and what she sacrifices being a stay at home mom and you know, helping get these kids off to school every single day and doing that. So I try to amp up, step up a little bit and do a little bit more uh, when it comes to that on the first day of school, I want to make sure that they know I'm here to support them. I'm here for everything that they need, and I'm here to support my wife, and I'm also here to have a good time and entertain you. <laughs> Are you ready for brother and sister to come home? Yeah. You want to go wait on the porch for them? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's go wait on the porch. They're here. Jeez, took them long enough. For an E5 or. That's good. I didn't get that memo. Yeah, that was not anything we got. You're just gonna idle the bus. When did I eat this? No, 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 come here. Did you have a really good day? Mm hmm. The best day? Yeah. How many new friends do you have? None. None? Did you like your teacher? Mm hmm. Did you learn anything? I like this. That's not many. How was lunch? Bye. <laughs> Great. Great. Did you eat a lot? Did you get full? Did you eat fun lunch? Um, yes. So if you're like me and you're striving to be a better dad, to be a better partner all the time, and you have the opportunity, maybe the means necessary to enjoy, if you're going to use a vacation day, you might as well use it to do something really good. And, uh, you know, taking that day off really shows your kids and your spouse how supportive you are of all that goes on in your household so i highly recommend if you can thinking about taking that day off helping the kids get off to school being there for when they come home to hear the stories about how day one went i think it's a really rewarding thing as a dad to be able to do that all right hopefully you guys stick around if you're new to the channel and we'll talk more about dad stuff and you can see more about you know all of this gardening stuff going on back here Alright guys, remember to be bold and grow bold, and as always, see you guys in the next video. Peace! I'm out!